For multiple cylinder steam engines, see compound steam engine and triple expansion steam engine. A multi cylinder engine is a reciprocating internal combustion engine with multiple cylinders. It can be either a two stroke or four stroke engine, and can be either diesel or spark ignition. The cylinders and the crankshaft which is driven by and coordinates the motion of the pistons can be configured in a wide variety of ways. Multi-cylinder engines offer a number of advantages over single-cylinder engines, chiefly with their ability to neutralize imbalances by having corresponding mechanisms moving in opposing directions during the operation of the engine. A multiple-cylinder engine is also capable of delivering higher revolutions per minute (RPM) than a single-cylinder engine of equal displacement. This is true for two reasons. First of all, the stroke of the pistons is reduced. This decreases the distance necessary for a piston to travel back and forth per each rotation of the crankshaft, and thus limiting the piston speed for a given RPM. Secondly, in an engine with multiple cylinders, the piston mass is reduced. This reduces stress on internal components at higher RPMs. Typically, the more cylinders an engine has, the higher the RPMs it can attain for a given displacement and technology level, at a cost of increased friction losses and complexity. Peak torque is also reduced, but the total horsepower is increased due to the higher RPMs attained. Although there are one, three and five cylinder engines, almost all other inline engines are built with even numbers of cylinders, as it is easier to balance out the mechanical vibrations. Another form of multiple cylinder internal combustion engine is the radial engine, with cylinders arranged in a star pattern around a central crankshaft. Radial engines are most commonly used as aircraft engines, and in basic single-row configuration are built with odd numbers of cylinders from 3 to 9. An odd number of cylinders is necessary in a four-stroke radial, since the firing order is such that every other cylinder fires as the crankshaft rotates. Only with an odd number of cylinders will all cylinders evenly fire in this manner in two crankshaft revolutions first the odd cylinders, followed by the even cylinders. Twin row, or multi row, radials are also built, which is basically two or more single row radials connected front to back and driving a common crankshaft. In this twin row, or multi row, configuration, the total number of cylinders will be an even number, although each row still has an odd number. For example, a typical single row radial such as the right cyclone has nine cylinders. The twin row right twin cyclone is based on this engine and thus has two banks of nine cylinders, for a total of 18, an even number. Common configurations <laughs> Two-cylinder engines Configurations of two-cylinder engines include Straight twin engine, or parallel twin, with two cylinders in parallel sharing a crankshaft. V-twin engine, or V2 engine, two cylinders in V configuration, sharing a crankshaft. Flat twin engine, a flat engine with two opposed cylinders on the same crankshaft angled 180 degrees to each other. Topic: <laughs> Three-cylinder engines. Configurations of three-cylinder engines include Straight three engine, also called the inline triple, inline three, or I3 engine, the most common three-cylinder internal combustion engine. V3 engine, seen on some two-stroke racing motorcycles. W engine with three cylinders W3, such as the Inzani three-cylinder fan engines. W. 
and radial three-cylinder engines of 1905 to 1915, used in the Bleriot 11 which first flew the English Channel among other applications. Four-cylinder engines Configurations of four-cylinder engines include, the most common four-cylinder engine Inline four-engine, an engine with four cylinders in a straight line. V4 engine, an engine with four cylinders arranged in a V configuration. Flat four engine, a flat engine with four cylinders horizontally opposed to each other at 180 degrees apart. Square four engine, U4 engine, two banks of two cylinders, each driving a single crankshaft and geared to a common output shaft. Topic: <laughs> Five-cylinder engines. Configurations of five-cylinder engines include Straight five engine, an engine with five cylinders in a straight line. VR5 engine, an engine with five cylinders staggered slightly, allowing cylinder bore centerlines to be closer together, reducing overall engine length. Six-cylinder engines Configurations of six-cylinder engines include V6 engine, a V engine with six cylinders. VR6 engine, a compromise between a V6 and straight-6 engine, shorter than a straight-6 and narrower than a V6. Straight-6 engine, an engine with six cylinders aligned in a straight line. Flat six engine, a flat engine with two banks of three cylinders horizontally opposed at 180 degrees apart. Topic: <laughs> Eight cylinder engines. Configurations of eight cylinder engines include V8 engine, an engine with eight cylinders arranged in a V configuration. Straight 8 engine, an engine with 8 cylinders in a straight line. Flat 8 engine, a flat engine with 8 cylinders horizontally opposed to each other at 180 degrees apart. W8 engine, an engine with 8 cylinders in 4 banks of 2, arranged in a W configuration. Topic. 10-cylinder engines Configurations of 10-cylinder engines include V10 engine, a V engine with 10 cylinders. Straight 10 engine, an engine with 10 cylinders aligned in a single row. Topic: 12-cylinder engines Configurations of 12-cylinder engines include Straight 12 engine, a straight engine with 12 cylinders. V12 engine, a V engine with 12 cylinders. Flat 12 engine, a flat engine with 12 cylinders. W12 engine, a W engine with 12 cylinders in either four groups of three, or three groups of four. Topic: Larger configurations. V14 engine, V16 engine, U16 engine, W16 engine, V18 engine, W18 engine, V20 engine, V24 engine. 